Hey Gemini, welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification button. So we're going to tap into your energy today, Gemini, get straight to the point. Um, it's going to be what's on your person's mind and what is it that they don't want you to know? How about that? I say, yeah, let's get into it. Message is a love and light. Wait, first a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for our beautiful Geminis. We ask you to guide their hands, their thoughts, and their minds to victory. We thank you for the things that they're going through and the lessons that they're learning. I ask you to con continue to guide them and make them prosperous beyond their understanding. Amen, amen. Gotta get that out the way. <laughs> All right. Message is a love and light for our beautiful Geminis. What is on their person's mind? What's on your mind? You've been acting funny lately. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Ooh. So two cards came out. We have the two of cups and we have the king of wands. Okay, so what's on your person's mind is a commitment. Your person feels as if this is a spiritual connection. Um they are uh they are trying to see how are how can they be intertwined how can they mix with you like they want they feel like y'all souls are connected uh so they're thinking about union if you guys are apart also with this king of wands your person is in this energy of wanting to make action towards you like your person is 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 wanting to i feel like the person has to be strong like this person is uh is trying to cause his strength it, it seems as if he's not strong or like his strength is behind him, but this person is very, very um determined. That's the word that's coming to mind. This person is determined, they're they're putting towards action towards you. And um, yeah, because they they see this going somewhere. Messages of love and light. I feel that you're about to get a message soon. You're about to get a message because uh, this person wants to start a new beginning with you because they feel that even though this may be a new connection, they feel that you are tied to them somehow. And then with that, we had uh, we got the seven of cups. This is of options. I feel like your person wants to really communicate how they feel to you, make an action towards you pretty soon because they may feel like you're choosing up. So Gemini, your person feel like you may be choosing right now. And they see you as the star. All right, Spirit, what is it that uh, Gemini's person doesn't want them to know? Uh, okay, it might be they don't want you to know at this time the actions that they're moving towards you because, and this is because they they see you as as the spiritual person with them. I don't know. They just feel like y'all connected on different levels, and and now and what they're not revealing to you right now is that they are actively like doing things. It could be behind the scenes to to give you this offer to give you this. Um, to let you know they acknowledge what you both have or what you may be feeling. Because that's the truth. The truth is that they feel some type of way. Man, <laughs> this is a love of life. <laughs> Our beautiful Gemini's. What that what what is it their person doesn't want them to know at this time? Mmm. Okay, so there's a tower. We see a tower moment. So I feel like right now they might not want you to know that um Something has happened in your person's life that is, that is, uh, the truth is something happened and this is pushing your person to move forward with you. So your person could have had a situation in the past or so your person could, could be dealing with a karmic or something. And, uh, oh, I apologize. But yeah, this person could be dealing with somebody and they could have got into an argument or fight or something. And now your person's like, you know what? I'm not I'm not taking this no more. I am gonna move forward and try to pursue Gemini. Yeah, but that's what they're not letting you know that something may have happened in their in a situation separate from you. And it might not even be that, it might just be some family drama or just something that just ticks tick them off. Spirit, what is it that Gemini's person doesn't want them to know? 
they're in between, they're in two minds right now. They're trying to figure out where they're going to go next, where they want to move. Your person could be a, uh, you know, it could be, could, could like poo. No, but just, yeah, they, they could like poo. But your person could be in the midst of moving and trying to see where they're going to move, what's going to be the best option for them. And right now, you're on their mind that they want to move towards. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like they no longer, with the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords in reverse, it's like they no longer want to be trapped mentally in the situation. The truth is that they're so happy that this tower moment happened and whoever they was, whoever this tower moment happened with, because that opened the door for them to have a good firm reason on why they were leaving and why they're moving towards you and then we have the five of cups the five of cups is this person regretting not giving you this offer sooner regretting not uh making this decision sooner because they because they they chose this other person over you oh maybe in the past so now mm -hmm, that's exactly it because I feel like in the past, because with this seven and this two, you take away two from the seven, that leave five. So they regretting, they regretting not choosing you the first time y'all probably met each other or seen each other, or whatever. But okay, Gemini, let's just love it like was. <laughs> All right, now this person, they got love on their mind. This person is falling in love with you, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Yes, the truth is, I never should have let you go. And then and here and now I know. Cause when it's all said and done, truth is. Anyway, that was my shit, yo. But yeah, but truth is, right now they they regretting not 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 uh not choosing you in the past. Uh, if that applies to some of y'all, and and but they feel you are their soulmate. Um. And right now, they're they they want to move towards you. They want to uh, have this family dynamic. And I keep seeing this. I see the two of wands, the two of cups, and I was like, I don't know. That just remind me of some twin flame type stuff. So some of you guys could be reconnecting with your twin flame. Okay, let's break it down. Okay, Wait, where am I? At? Sammy, I got time. I got time, Mercy. Don't rush, is Mercy. All right, right here. All right, so let's. Let's clarify this tower card. This is love and light. This is tower spirit. Mm, okay. So with the tower, <laughs> shit, we got the tower to explain the tower. Goddamn Scorpio. Wait a minute. So two cards came out. We got the tower, and we got the three of pentacles. Now the tower card is a Scorpio card. So Gemini, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, got Scorpio places, but yeah. So. I feel like clarifying the tower with a tower and another tower. I feel like this was the inability of somebody to be able to work with somebody or to gain some type of, uh, I, I feel like it was a lack of somebody putting in work. Mm-hmm. And so it, it uh, Gemini, your person's situation, like, I feel like they were in another situation ship and it was like, and it was like, like they, they, it was always on rocky terms. And the reason why this blew up again was because this person, whoever your person was dealing with, they didn't want to put in no work. They, they did not want to work with them on building financial gain, on, on, on getting a house in order, on building an empire. And it was like, at the end of the day, your person like, I can't take, I can't take this shit no more. Your person said they just, they just couldn't do it. Pay too much. It ain't cheaper to keep her. <laughs> I'm partner decking this devil card just out. He say she, she or he, whoever your person is, say that they, they person they leaving for you is toxic. Like, for real. Okay, man. Spirit, what is the five of cups? He said they toxic. He like, mm -mm. I just, I was waiting. To, I just waiting on you to mess up. I needed an excuse. <laughs> that's how your person. That's how your person feels towards they person. Like I'm just needing an excuse. Look, we got the chariot card. 
they're regretting probably not moving away from this person quick enough, not moving towards you fast enough. This is this is the five of cups. This is what they're regretting, not moving towards you when they when they should have in the past. Yeah. All right, let's get you some uh, messages from a love or the deck, Gemini. I will let you go. Messages of love, like my beautiful Gemini. Okay, okay, we got a new love. So, uh, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, this could be uh, them moving towards you or you being their new person because they, you know, the other one wasn't working with them. But so, let me just tell you this, Gemini. Just know your person wants you to put in some work. Your person gonna want you to work with them, okay? I ain't got time for all that attitude. I already did all that. We ain't going back. Anyway, so then we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like this is uh oh, and then we got romantic feelings. So we got yeah, we just got all of the new all the good cards. You got new love, romantic feelings, chemistry. So that means this person here is not only going to arouse your intellect your intellect as well as your loins. <laughs> okay. Coming to America for y'all young ones. But anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So love is on the way. You about to have some good, good, good loving. Um, all right, like and subscribe. I love you guys. Love yourself. <laughs>